Hey guys, Future Man 19 here. Uh, today I am uploading one of my older videos that I performed as a live session on April 22nd, 2022 on Earth Day. I chose not to upload it at that point because there were a lot of audio problems in the video. But I have since corrected the audio problems and will be uploading for your viewing pleasure because I believe it did have some good content inside of it. So without further ado, here is the re-uploaded video. I'm here, like I've always said, like I'm here to to piss you off with the truth. Like the truth will always stay the same no matter what. And there's many deviations from that. What what are really becoming distracting from the truth. So um, I don't have much time to explain it. So I'm probably going to just uh, get right into it. Uh, when I talk about leveling up your thoughts, I always... If you follow me on Twitter, you'll get a lot of this information, but I know a lot of you don't. So I'm going to have to try to do my best to explain it on here. So uh, just bear with me. I'm not very good at drawing or whatever. But um, if you think of truth, right, like what did, what did Jesus always say? Um, you know, the way is is what he said. The, the way is straight and narrow, right? Like if we think of a of a path towards like um enlightenment or the kingdom of god or heaven or whatever you want to call it right the way is always straight and narrow right that's what jesus always said the way is, is straight and narrow so um anything deviating from that truth and 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 what the like the you know i talk about the law of one and everything if you think of this right right like this is this is a line, but it also represents a one. Uh, and this is what I believe, like the law of one, right? It's a straight and narrow path. He's really saying truth is singular, right? We could get, we could gain a lot from this, uh, this kind of principle here, right? Like the truth is straight and narrow. So to follow it, um, we have to not deviate from the path, right? So like any any way where we go, you know, if we if we take this conspiracy route, you know, or like if we we're always talking about the the divisions of the left and the right, right? So like if if you're to me, it's all it's all just a distraction from following the path because we get stuck, right? Like we'll get stuck following the left reasoning. Or we'll get stuck following the right reasoning, right? And so, and where does this this path lead, right? It eventually falls off, right? Like we all just these are all just distractions, right? Like any of these, you could take any topic, right? Like um, you could say, like I say, you know, like flat Earth theory, right? Like it, it'll seem like you're getting somewhere, right? But you're just deviating from the main truth, right? Here's the left, right? And everyone is it it start if you start to see it this way, you don't want to be left or right. You don't want to be this or that. You don't want to follow these distractions, okay? You want to follow the path, right? This is this is the one, it's a singular truth, right? If you think of truth as singular, it's eternal, it's never changing. It doesn't go left or right. It just goes straight and narrow, just like Jesus said, right? The straight and narrow path. And so, and this is why I, I tried, sorry, I'm not very good at drawing, but this is why I, I try to say um, and try to teach you, teach you guys is that um, the truth is always singular. It's always eternal. It's always going straight forever, right? And then up here, is like heaven right so this is or enlightenment or whatever you want to call it this is where we gain our crown right this is where we want to go and every everything in this world wants us wants to distract us from that path you know and we get we get we get thrown off the path all the time right like we're all prodigal sons and daughters we we like to stray off the path um every so often and and that's fine as long as we don't get stuck down in these rabbit holes right as long as we can somehow circle back and usually we have to circle back 
and start at the beginning. But um, what I'm saying is we can, there's even a better way of doing this. You know, the whole thing going on with Florida, it's funny because I, I, wa- I rewatched one of my old videos. Uh, I think it was Prophecy Irma. Or, I mean, her, it was like Prophecy Revealed, the, the Hurricane Irma or, or something like that. It's one of my old videos like I posted like five years ago or four years ago or something. And I didn't quite understand it then, but I knew the prophecy uh, in the in Revelation, like for some reason I tied it in with Florida like five years ago. And and I just rewatched it the other day because I haven't seen it in, in a long time. So I was I was just like going back on what I used to talk about. And I was like, huh, like I, I called the whole Florida thing where I was saying that the remnant would be in Florida and that the, uh, you know, the, the, basically the dark one would be fighting against Florida. And so we see that happening now. Like, it's like Florida has been the, if it wasn't for Florida, uh, at least in the United States, like we, like we would have probably, you know, all of the, the country would be, would be in a pretty dark place right now. But I feel like Florida took a stand and now they're, they're like fighting a back against the darkness and it's like, and it's working. And, and it's crazy to say like, cause again, I didn't understand it then, but I was like, you know, I was like, you know, this prophecy prophecy saying that, that uh, the dark one's going to go to war with Florida. And it's crazy now, five years later, where it's like, man, they did go to war with Florida, but Florida seems to be winning right now. So so that's kind of, uh, that's the good news, you know. We, we have now, it's kind of funny to think, like now all the prophecies are fulfilled in the Bible. Like what? Like, if we really think about it, then what will be the use of the Bible in the future, right? Like, if if every word is fulfilled, then we're, like, ready for a new book, you know what I mean? Like, we're ready to, to, to see the new, uh, the new revelation, right? Like, it's time, it's time for the new revelation, which I think is the law of one, but maybe there'll be more information that comes out, but, uh, it's crazy to think because that was kind of my whole purpose of, of starting my channel. At least one of them was that I was, uh, I was trying to fulfill every prophecy in the Bible because then, you know, if every, if every prophecy is fulfilled, then what, what's the, you know, what's the use of it anymore? Like it's already fulfilled its purpose, right? Like, if there's more, no more prophecy, you know, foretold in it, then we don't necessarily need to rely on it. And it's kind of like, a might be fearful for some people to let go of it, but you know, we're like, it's kind of a, a thrilling and exciting thing for me. Cause now we're, we're ready for the next chapter of our evolution. You know, we're ready for the next revelation. Um, and I think that's a fun and exciting thing because I wanted to I wanted to release you know the release our civilization from the hold that this this book has you know had on us for thousands of years cuz it's 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 time for a new book you know it's time for a new chapter it's time for us to start to write our own you know our own story right the never ending story. And so now I'm looking out and it's just, you know, there's not much, there's not much else to warn about. We've, we've already, we're almost like past the whole, you know, the the mark of the beast and everything there. I think they're going to still push for it. You know, they're still trying to push for the, for the, 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 the V IDs and everything, you know, but the digital IDs and whatnot. Um, And they have a few, you know, Trump cards in their, in their, in the, you know, 
they still have a, a few Trump cards hidden. No pun intended. You know, I think tr I think Trump will be probably coming back to to save their plan. You know, um, he might be the Trump card that they need because there's still a lot of people that idolize him and are still stuck uh, basically worshiping him. So he might be the man that uh, is their last play. You know, the Trump card that they pulled that to to get people to to go along with it um or they might use like elon musk too right like his you know he fits in line with the the prophecy as well with with the nearer link that he's developing and everything like he wants to um he wants to implant a chip in our brain you know <laughs> so and everyone's seeing him as the good guy. You know, he's the champion of, of free speech right now and, and whatever. But it, again, remember, it's all a show. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for anything that man tries to trick you with. Okay, put put 100% faith in God and Christ, right? Put all your faith in them. They will not lead you astray. You know, the path, it's it's straight and narrow, right? And we're here to get our crown, you know. And so we just need to follow the path, right? This is the law of one, right? Truth is singular. Truth is eternal. Truth is forever. It's straight and narrow, okay? And anything else is just a distraction from that path, okay? All these conspiracy theories, all these whatever, <laughs> flatter, Tartaria, blood, uh, lizard people, it's just all distractions from the main truth, okay? Like, we want to, to follow the one, right? It's all about the one. We want to become the one. We want to, to make it to the straight and follow the straight and narrow to our enlightenment to heaven right so um so don't get distracted okay keep focused keep humble keep an open mind don't trust in man don't lose your mind to to these crazy conspiracy theories okay the internet is a is a wild and fascinating place but don't get lost in the thick of it, okay? Just keep focused. Keep going. Um, that's all I got to say because, you know, I don't... There's not there's not many more prophecies to cover, right? Like, we're, we're at the end of the road, right? The two years or the seven years is almost over. Um, we got all this. We're, I mean, there's going to be a big last push at the end, right? Especially when the new, uh, the president, the presidential election comes in 2024. That's going to be the last big play for them, and they probably will use their Trump card. You know, I'm guessing. You know, I thought Trump would would be reelected, but I guess they're gonna probably reelect him, and everyone's gonna just uh, bow down to him. You know. Don't get distracted by the whole Ukraine thing going on. Don't get distracted by by anything. Just just keep focused on the goal, you know. Um, I want to start diving into other subjects. Uh, I was working on a video uh, with the iPet goat video, but I just... <sighs> It's just a distraction, guys. Like I, I know people are like some people are like obsessed with it, and maybe some people don't know what it is. But it, I was, I was working on it, and I was like, you know, like none of this, none of this matters. You know, like none of these these things really matter. Uh, when I started this channel, I was trying to. I was trying to paint a bigger picture, right, of like what's going on in the world. And I and I had to um, reveal some things uh, to 
to to know that I was on the right track, right? Like I had to to say some really pretty much impossible things, right? Uh, because if I if I was wrong about it, then I would have you know packed up and and that was it. But since it came true, and I'm talking about the 923 thing in in 2017. If you guys don't know about it then you know watch my old videos but um it was just an impossible event and so it happened and everything fell in line for it to happen and everything all everything was pointing towards it and so um it's crazy to think you know that was uh it was about five five years ago almost and it's I I wouldn't I would have never thought that I would be here right now, uh, still going on uh, with my channel, but uh, there's still a little, a little more work to do. Uh, I'm sorry this this video wasn't wasn't very good, but um, I promise the next one will be a lot better. I'll have more to talk about, but I just I just feel like. I just feel so happy right now and I just wanted to to talk with you guys. Hey, what's up, Corey? From Canada, huh? I don't know if I've ever had someone from Canada on my channel, so welcome. Uh but yeah, if you I mean I, I like to, to get comments from you guys because I like to know like where where you guys are where you guys lie in the spectrum of things, you know, like what are you guys concerned with? Like what's on your mind and whatnot? I'm, I'm pretty content with, with everything in my life right now. Like everything's going really good. I just need to stay humble. Um, need to keep, keep that gratitude, you know, part of your life. And, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of magic out there. Like we, I can, I want to, you know, eventually train you guys to be magicians because it's it's a fun thing to do. It's fun. This whole reality is just so it's it's so fun. It's 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 a game to me, you know? And and it it's just it's just fun to play and but we get like we get so caught up in like this like I said, just distractions and diversions from the, from the one truth. Right. And, um, it starts to bog us down where it's like, we start to take things too seriously. And like, I've, I've always had a kind of a thing in my life where I just, I just never want to take anything serious, you know? Um, but yeah, sorry guys. I might, I might, uh, I don't know if I'll even keep this video. I might delete it, but because it wasn't that good. Sorry, guys. But like, I feel I feel like uh, I always uh, try to try to just use the you know the Holy Spirit to guide me. Um, and sometimes the Holy Spirit like just just wants me to to not say as much as I want, like, I want to say, like, I have a, like, I have a, you know, an agenda, right, when I start this, and then, like, all of a sudden, uh, the Holy Spirit is like, no, we're going to go this route, right, and that's how I've, I've always kind of used my videos, at least my live videos, but, um, yeah, guys, Thank you for uh, thank you guys for listening and whatnot. I wasn't gonna, I was gonna make this this probably already too long right now, but um, I just want you guys to know that every everything's looking good. Okay, um, the world is not as bad as they want you to believe it. You know, I was, you know, I was kind of looking at the world for a minute, like kind of with those. Like, I like, I like to, to see 
things from the bigger picture and now from the bigger picture i i see things are starting to swing back in the light and and so i want to say that we keep this momentum going and we just keep whatever we can do even though you're you're one person right like one person just like neo in the matrix like we can all affect our reality um we can just bring in that light you know that's that's out there and we could be channels for that light and we could bring it in and help affect people around us because the light will always be stronger than the darkness you know one little one little light bulb one little candle lit in a dark room you know makes all the shadows flee to their corners you know so just keep the light on uh watch you know i think it's gonna go good for a little bit here um of course there's a, still a lot of insanity going on with the <laughs> it's all it's all so silly you know and i i think a lot of people are starting to see it just the the clown world you know just i don't know what what they're trying to do man they're just they're trying to keep control as much as possible like if you guys read the law of one you would basically know that um hold on one second so there's like there's there's two there's like i said at the at the beginning of this this channel right there's there's the positive and then there's the negative side right like the positive is is you know the christ side right the light side right that's why hit his symbol is the cross right and it's it all comes together right and then their side is the negative they their side is all about um it's all about control right like they just want control of your life control of everything because to them they they are a uh they're a one too right like they they want they believe that everything everything uh belongs to them like they they like they're the only thing that matters okay so and then over here is you know we're here for the freedom right like we want to they they think over here like we're so stupid and we're so you know naive and we're just we like to them they don't think like like no one thinks they're evil right but like one side will be like okay these people over here actually think we're evil right because they believe with all this freedom that we have that we we choose to do evil things with it and then over here we're like they're evil because they're trying to control our freedom and it's just a back and forth back and forth type of thing but um what what the law of one it breaks it down and this is what i'm saying when when you like level up your thoughts if you're if you're thinking still of like a good versus evil that is like the lowest spectrum of the th of thoughts right like good versus evil is like will always just be an opinion like it you can't really there's no like facts right you're just like i feel they're evil or i feel like i'm good and it's not like there's much there's not much verifiable facts that you could really put but if you start to level up your thoughts and you start to think like only in positives and negatives okay start to think of like is this action that i'm doing is it positive or, or negative that's a higher thought than saying is this is this action that i'm taking good or evil because remember like let's take for instance you know back in the day with like the cowboys versus the indians right like the cowboys or not even the cowboys but like just uh you know religious people you know back in the day they they literally thought like if if these if these uh native americans weren't gonna accept their you know religion that they were evil right and that and that killing them was actually a good thing okay because 
they were still stuck on that low level thought pattern, right? Because good and evil is is so, you know, it's it's not very it's not plus and minus, right? Like if they if they were to use the higher thoughts of of plus, if it's a positive or a negative thing, like obviously if they're thinking more rationally, right? Like positives about you know killing all these people. I, you know, there's not much posit positivity that you can gain from that, right? Mostly all negative. So then really it was an evil act, but they thought it was good because good and evil, that concept relies basically on opinion. So I always look at the positive, positives and negatives. Like we can take like yoga today, right? Like a lot of Christians would be like, that's the devil, you know? That's the devil. Mama said that's the devil. But um but you take like yoga, right? Like what's what's the negatives of yoga, right? We just we just associate it with evil because we don't understand it. You know, we fear what we don't understand. So fear turns to, you know, doubt and then the dark side, right? It turns to evil, but like the only thing that I've seen from yoga is it's all positives. Like you become more flexible, you become more healthy, you become happier. You know, your, your life is extended. Uh, you know, you could touch your toes, you know, you could breathe easier. Like everything about it to me is fits on the positive side. So how, how can anything that's pretty much a hundred percent positive be evil, right? So this is why I'm saying, like, instead of thinking of good and evil, good and evil, good and evil, level up your thoughts and start to think positive and negative. OK, that's what I, that's what I should have. Uh, what's up on fire fully? That's what I should have started with. But um, <laughs> um, but again, yeah. So I'll, if, if it's a positive thing, then no. That it's a good thing, okay? Just like when God created the created the universe, right? He separated the the light from the dark, right? The positive and the negative, just like the tree, the tree of knowledge, right? The tree of knowledge should have really been the tree, not of good and evil, but of positive and negative. That would have been made a lot more sense and it probably would have saved millions of people from from being killed by the the church right <laughs> if they would have uh taken that into account but again primitive people back then you know they didn't have a concept of electricity or you know things of that nature so positive and negative didn't mean anything to them back then so they had to rely on a lower thought form which was good and evil but we're trying to raise our thoughts, right? We're trying to raise our vibration. And so um, back to the people, right? So the law of one then breaks down this positive and negative spectrum. They say that there's only really two kinds of people. There's the people that are the negative uh, control side, what they call the left-hand path. They call them STS, which means service to self. So these people, in a weird kind of way, in a very twisted kind of way, um, like we always say, you know, God is God is one, right? Like God is everything. So he represents the masculine one, right? Whole and undivided one, right? Um, and so their concept is is basically if if god is one then i am one and i want to be like god and so they say only only i matter i am god now only i matter i'm only here to serve myself okay because that's worshiping god like if i'm worshiping myself um then that is that i'm essentially worshiping god because god is me um and I am one with God. And so it's a twisted way of, of viewing things, but it still works within the realm of how the whole uh, structure of the universe, like 
positive and negative, like positive and negative, you still need it for the universe to continue. If there was only positive in the universe, then um, it wouldn't work, right? Like we wouldn't be able to spin. Like there needs to be the yin and yang, right? Like there needs to be the positive force and the negative force flowing together, going around and round and round, because that's how you create electricity. That's how you create gravity. That's how you. That's how all the the laws of the universe um, are formulated, right? And so they're allowed to to follow this ideology. That's why they're Luciferian, because what is what is Lucifer? Lucifer believes that he's God, or at least he should be God, right? And so they follow that ideology, and that's why they're they're allowed. That's why you could say evil is allowed, right? Because it's they are they are um, following along that path, and it's it and it's a weird twisted way because they're saying you know if I'm if I'm just serving myself, then I'm then I'm serving the universe. It's kind of like the whole like Bill Gates thing, right? Like. Bill Gates, honest, probably Bill Gates honestly believes that he is saving the world with the, 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 you know, the vaccines, right? The, he's buying up all the farmland, right? To create, uh, to create that beyond meat kind of stuff, right? He's, uh, he's trying to block out the sun to, to, to help the climate change. You know, he's, uh, um, he's releasing mosquitoes into the wild, artificial mosquitoes to like help stop diseases. Like he, he probably honestly thinks he's, he's doing good. Okay. He probably honestly thinks that because he is this STS kind of person where he's, he needs more and more and more control because he honestly believes that the people over here are just, too stupid to to really help themselves so he believes that he's actually helping people and so that's why you can't you you have to get rid of this concept of good and evil because these people actually think that they are good because they're doing all these things and it's for mankind you know maybe maybe uh you know one out of every hundred person will die from the v right and and they're like well it's it's for the greater good right it's all about the greater good on this side okay um Hey guys, can you hear me? Sorry, it was the uh, the mic muted all of a sudden. Um, I think we're good. that's weird. But um, so the STO, so they're like, they believe that just like as Christ teaches, right? Like we're one with everyone. Like I'm one with the Father, the Father's one with me, and I'm one with everybody, right? Remember the Lord's prayer to the Father, and. And so that's the other spectrum of things. And uh, and that's more like we want we want to. Uh, it's kind of like if you go back to the war in heaven, right? Like Lucifer, Lucifer probably thought he was doing a good thing. Like, who knows? Like, he might still think he's doing a good thing, right? By doing the mark of the beast. Like, he, he honestly probably thinks that... He, he can do a better job than God himself, right? He's saying, hey, look at all these, look at all these people, people you're losing uh, because you're letting them have freedom, right? And you're letting them choose all these, they're making all these stupid mistakes, right? They're making all these choices and they're becoming, and they're making bad choices, right? So give me the control, right? And I will save them. I will save all of them, right? 
but they won't have choices anymore. They'll have no more freedom. Okay. And I will make them all be good, basically, you know, in his way of thinking, right? And they will all, and I will be God, and, uh, and you know, and it'll be all because of me, right? And so they think that ideology, they actually think that they are the good side. And that's why you think you, you, they talk to you, they talk to about us like we're like cattle for them, like we're like pets, right? Because they just, they don't think we make good choices. And the more freedom they give us, the less control that they have. And so they can't make these choices for us, right? Um, but Jesus came because he believed, hey, like we have to give them, we have to give them their own, their own free will, right? To make the choices. And whether they make good or bad choices, you know, I will forgive them for making the bad choices. And that's how we will get over this. Um, you know, this is how we'll we'll be able to save everyone, right? We'll still let them have their choices and whatnot, but they'll learn learn from those mistakes. Hopefully, you know, they'll, they'll have to repent, right? And you have to admit your mistake and then change the way that you are to come out on this other side. And so... That's how I like to break the. And you just use like a, a good and evil paradigm. You, that's when you start getting lost in like that old, old way of thinking, you know, when you're like basically witch hunting people and stuff. And you're like thinking anything outside of your out of your box of what you consider good is evil. Right. Like yoga or whatever else. Like oh, I know a lot of Christians think that's the devil and stuff but like everything about it is a positive so you got to start thinking in that dual kind of aspect but then uh like i said at the beginning of the the video you take the chakras which even levels up those aspects even more um but yeah <sighs> uh but yeah, that's how I like that's they basically uh, the law of one. They they break it down to just those two groups where it's like STO versus the STS, and um, our planet. People don't get that our our planet is actually very conscious. Okay, the whole et all of the universe has a consciousness to it. Scientists are actually starting to realize this but they don't want to openly admit it because then they have to admit that you know spirituality is actually a thing right what they're trying to to call you know term as quantum physics it's really metaphysics in reality but um they're trying so hard not to admit it right they're spending billions and billions of dollars to basically work around that concept just like the tower of babel they want to find the physical way to heaven, right? They want to build, they want to, because they don't want to believe in the spiritual aspect of, of things. And, you know, really everything is made, was made spiritual first. You can take Adam and Eve in the garden. Uh, you know, it, it's like I said, the Bible is a very primitive scientific book. What people don't realize is before they took the fruit of positive and neg negativity of, of, of electrical charge, before they were electrical creatures, before they ate of matter, right? They were just spiritual beings. They had no physicality whatsoever to their makeup okay this is what people don't get and so when they uh ate matter then it transformed them the apple represents the taurus right the toroidal field that surrounds our bodies and our planet and our solar system and everything that's electrical right um that that's what the apple represents they ate physicality and so they 
themselves became physical beings. And that's why in the Bible it says after they ate the fruit, then they realized that they were naked because they actually gained skin and physical physicality to them, right? So that's why I said in the day that you eat this fruit, you will die because they couldn't die before because they weren't physical yet. They were still just only spiritual beings, right? God, everything, God made everything spiritual first, right? It was everything was a void and he made everything spiritual. Um, he made the light, right? And so, uh, so yeah, they, they couldn't die before they ate it because they weren't actually physical beings. And then they ate it. And then that's why they said, oh, you're going to die because now you're a physical person, right? You're a physical being now. And, and, and then, uh, you know, ev everything physical is entropic, right? So eventually they will die. And it's kind of funny because I don't know if a lot of people get this, but, uh, <laughs> you know, Lucifer is like, oh, you won't, you won't die. You, you won't die. You know, like not, you won't die today. Like they didn't die the same 20 in the 24 hour period. Right. Like how long did Adam live? Like he, he, uh, lived for like what, like over 900 years. Right. Supposedly. So it's funny because, uh, if you, in the new Testament, I think, uh, I think it was Paul that was like, uh, you know, uh, a thousand years to God is a day. So God told the truth. They said, you will die the day you eat it because one day was a thousand years to him. And Adam died right before a thousand years. So he was, he did die in the day, but it was a day in God's terms, uh, you know, in, in a thousand years. So that's just a little... A little Easter egg for you guys. Um, but yeah. Uh, see, Corey Williams says evil is basically rebellion to God. Yes. Um, it's, it's the Luciferian uh, path, right? Like they... They believe that they are gods, and that's why they want control of everything, and that's why they think themselves are good. Like these people don't think that they're evil, you know. Nobody, nobody ever thinks they're evil. That's why they always say it's for the greater good because they believe they believe in like a hive mind, right? They believe that okay, we gotta sacrifice a hundred people to to save a thousand people. It's for the greater good, you know. It's it's a rationalization of of performing these evil acts, right? There, it's always about rationalizing um, evil, right? And so, um, yeah. But when we start to to evolve our thoughts and level up our thoughts, we start to see the black and white paradigm, right? The positive and the negative paradigm you could like this should be an exercise for you guys that you just go around and you try to find the positive and the negative side of everything the the black and the white the the male and the feminine energies you know it's funny to me because it's just like i don't i don't understand how like we're supposed to be like very far advanced right but like we're still struggling with these very basic concepts. Um, and if we just stop using our opinions and our beliefs and we start using facts, you know, like facts, is this positive or negative? Use only facts, right? Not opinion, not our beliefs, not our fear of the unknown, right? Got to leave our mind open then we start, then we could, you would grow by leaps and bounds, okay? You, you would start to realize the beauty of this world, even, even on the evil, the so-called evil side. There's still, it's, it's, it's just like I said, it's like a, a brilliant video game where a good video game 
has the best evil boss, right? And so you have to defeat it. So there's still the good that you could see over here. It's not like it's not like a hundred percent evil, but you can see the more and more control that they have, the less freedom, right? It's always a swing back and forth. But now we're starting to see our freedom coming back with the, the mask men mandates are ending, the all that stuff that's going on in Florida. Florida is basically leading the charge, right? Which I which it was a prophecy in the book of Revelation that I confirmed back in 2017. So, yeah, I've probably gone about a few minutes, but, um, hey, thanks, Corey, for your, your input. Um, you guys have any questions or anything? I know this live show sucked, but, uh, I hope the next one's better. Um, just sometimes, uh. I, you know, when, when I, when I find a subject that I could get going on, um, you know, I could go, I could talk about it for days, but I like to, I like to talk about what people are interested. So when I get that feedback from you guys, uh, you know, the comments and whatnot, then I could start creating discussion. Like I really want to know where people lie uh, with things and, and uh and what they want to know about you know um because otherwise i just go on all these different tangents everywhere and it, sometimes it gets i get lost in the and in, in going in on in on the tangents um but anyways guys hope i uh hope i brought some Maybe some truth to you guys. If not, that's all right. Uh, catch me on, on the next one. But uh, like I said, this was a surprise. I wasn't even I wasn't even planning on do it doing it today, but uh I just it's Earth Day, beautiful day out. Just wanted to say hi to you guys. <laughs> and I try to make the best of best of it as I could, but uh it doesn't always go as planned, which is fine. You know, you got to see the positives and things, you know, focus on the positives. That's how you, you transmute everything. Right. And, uh, man, I'm trying to get this, uh, this one guy, he's, uh, he's one of the admins on the school of enlightenment on Facebook that I help that I'm an admin on as well. And, uh, he just uh, he uses uh, numbers to kind of explain everything, and I and I I love the way that he teaches things. I'm gonna try to get him on the show, but uh, that's another fascinating subject that I like to go down because there's there's so many things that could be broken down mathematically, like every I'm like pretty I'm pretty sure everything could be explained mathematically, um, at least with numbers and things. Because, like I said, just sacred geometry, right? We all want to become the one. What did Jesus say? It's a straight and narrow path. He meant you have to become the one, right? We have to become Neo. We have to become the one, right? Because God is the one, right? God's the masculine. And when we start accepting others too as part of ourselves then we become the cross right become starting adding more people and then we add more and more and more and we keep dividing up right and we become whole right everyone's together everyone's equal everyone has a fair share of what's going on start to to take sacred geometry start to apply it more in your life um stop going down these rabbit holes of whatever flat earth or blood fallen angels or you know whatever else start to find the channels that talk about sacred geometry and um 
and like mathematics, quantum physics, things like that. I will hopefully start to get into that more. Um, I'm still trying to, I'm trying to basically nudge people out of the, the whole like religious bubble that a lot of people are stuck in. Um, I've lost a lot of, uh, subscribers over the years because I go outside of the religious bubble that people like to just stay inside because it's nice and cozy in there. You know, they, they could just believe that I'm going to heaven. Whoever's out of this bubble is going to hell. And that's, and that's great for them. But like, it's a, you know, like they say in, in the Bible, you have to, you have to f feed the milk before you can start feeding the, the more subs substantial things like meat and stuff. Right. So, that's why I'm trying to take it slow. I, I, I really, my spirit wants to, you know, just speed forward. But uh, just, like I said, the spirit always wants to constrain me because there's a lot of subjects that we're just not quite ready to dive in deep yet. And I want to get to there and we have another two years to go. So stay tuned for what, for what's going to come because there's a lot more to teach. There's a lot more to learn. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to get it out in the best way as, as I can. Um, but, uh, you know, whoever, for the people that still, you know, listen to my channel and watch my videos and, and things, I hopefully that um, I'm doing somewhat of a good job. Uh, like I said, I don't, I don't get paid for this. I don't accept money or anything for it. I just do it on my own free will. And, um, I do it for you guys, you know, like I, as long as there's some, at least one person listening, like that's what matters to me, you know, because if you become a one, then we're, we, we, uh, you know, now we're, uh, we're, it, it grows exponentially. Right. So like, like I said, like if you have a one one person, right, is worth more than a billion zeros, right? A billion NPCs. The Z most people are the zeros, right? But we're choosing to be the positive spectrum, to be the one, right? To be one with God, one with Christ, one with the creation, one with the universe. Okay keep leveling up your thoughts um if you guys have any comments or you want to say anything just just comment down below and we'll talk about it more next time anyway anyways guys enjoy your day earth day it's a beautiful day um the swing is back in the positive favor for a little bit i'll let you know when i think it's swinging back because it probably will um but they might, I think they're, you know, the swings are happening. It's, it's plan. It's all planned out. So just don't, uh, don't lose focus because there's, there's going to be some, some traps laid for us, right? We don't want to fall for the traps. We just want to keep, you know, moving forward. Let's keep this momentum going. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you for listening. Um, I'll talk with y'all later. Take care. God bless.